Hey, stargazers, welcome back to Explore Wonders. If you're looking to witness one of the most dazzling meteor showers of the year, you're in for a treat. The Orionids meteor shower is happening right now, and in today's video, I'll show you how, when, and where to watch this cosmic event. So sit back and let's dive into the night sky. Every year, around this time in October, the Earth passes through debris left behind by Halley's Comet, one of the most famous comets in our solar system. As we move through this debris, tiny particles burn up as they enter Earth's atmosphere, creating bright streaks of light we know as meteors, or shooting stars. The Orionids meteor shower is named after the constellation Orion, because that's where the meteors appear to radiate from. Orion rises in the eastern sky after midnight, so that's your go-to direction. Now, the Orionids aren't the brightest meteors you'll ever see, but they are incredibly fast, leaving behind light trails that can linger for several seconds. If you're lucky, you might catch about 10 to 20 meteors per hour during the peak. This year, the peak is happening on the night of October 21st into October 22nd, so mark your calendars. To get the best view, here are a few tips. First, find a dark location. The farther away from city lights, the better. You'll want a wide open sky without too many trees or buildings obstructing your view. The best time to watch is after midnight and just before dawn. And remember, give your eyes about 15 minutes to adjust to the dark. Trust me, it makes a huge difference. Now, let's talk about the two biggest challenges, weather and the moon. Cloudy skies can be a real downer for meteor watching, but after Storm Ashley, much of the UK, especially in England and Wales, should have relatively clear skies. Areas in Northwest Scotland and Northern Ireland might see more clouds, but there's always a chance they'll clear up later in the week. Host, unfortunately, there's another enemy of stargazers, the moon. During the peak of the Orionids, the moon will be over 80% illuminated, which might wash out some of the fainter meteors. If you don't catch much during the peak, try heading out later in the week as the moon wanes. And if you miss the Orionids altogether, don't worry, you'll have another chance to witness something spectacular in December with the Geminids meteor shower, which tends to be one of the year's best shows. But, spoiler alert, a full moon will coincide with the peak of the Geminids this year too. So, what are you waiting for? Grab a cozy blanket, maybe some hot chocolate, and find a good spot to watch the skies tonight. Remember, it's all about being patient, so take your time and enjoy the moment. If you love stargazing, meteor showers, and exploring the wonders of the universe, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Explore Wonders for more celestial content. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on watching the Orionids meteor shower, and if you're lucky enough to spot one, share your experience. Host, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep exploring the wonders of the universe.